Hi there, so that was me having fun, experimenting, trying things out, playing over the top of a bass line, a repeating bass line, and that bass line was not in 4-4, I think we can agree on that, it was in an odd time signature. What was the time signature? Well, we could call it 35-16, but calling it 35-16 kind of sounds a bit weird to me, I mean, who's going to count to 35? Now the thing is, what that really means is that it takes 35 notes for the bass line to complete itself and come back round to the beginning, back round to the one. 35 notes either played, physically played, or the equivalent rest, and it's all sixteenths. So 35 sixteenth notes or sixteenth note rests. Now the thing is, calling it 35 16, it's like taking a piss a little bit really. If we had a bass line that took 101 notes to come round to the beginning, we wouldn't say it was a bar of 101 16. We're more likely to divide it up differently, maybe in bars of 4 4 and then see how many notes we're left with at the end. And that's what we can do here. We can see the different ways that we can divide up those 35 notes. The most natural instinctive way is to probably see how many bars of 4-4 four, four we can actually get out of it and how many notes we have left. And in this case, for those 35 sixteenth notes, we have two bars of 4-4 four, four and three extra sixteenth notes. So that could be counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, and so on. But the interesting thing is, with 35 notes, we can add a lot of note groupings in there. For example, the bass line is loosely based around groups of seven. Loosely based around groups of seven. Seven being six played notes, six sixteenth notes, and one sixteenth note rest, generally speaking. And there are five groups of seven in those 35 notes in the bass line. So because we can have fun playing those groups of seven as well, we can also find seven groups of five and have fun superimposing different groups of five over the top and having fun with that, seeing if we can come back down on the one. Another one that I like to do is play groups of three in there, but that goes over the bar line and we have to actually deal with that. The whole point of this exercise is basically just to push yourself, have fun and experiment and work on your precision and your reactivity, trying to get all those notes coming out in the right place. See you next time.